Sammo. All right. Okay, uh, last time we we stopped at uh, was it commission? Commission? Commission, right? Okay. Yeah, last time we stopped at the commission. All right. I actually said the maths you are learning they are a little different from the maths that you learned in secondary school in the sense that this is just like elementary because they have got an element of business right there in secondary schools your mathematics that element of business some of them were there but we had a lot of mathematics which were irrelevant to business that's why here we are taking this um this advantage of teaching you business Okay. all right in the sense that we are saying that not all of us who will be employed some will do business so you need to have this idea of how you calculate how you give it discounts how you turn percentages how you work out depreciation how you work out linear programming, where you are going to get profit and losses. Those commission, those areas are the ones that we are interested in. That's why I'm running away from other areas like SADS. I'm running away from other areas like uh, 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 how, uh, like factorizing. But I'm running away from those ones. But I'm just only looking at something to do with the mathematics which is connected to business last time just to give uh, we were looking at discount we actually said that when you look at discount it is to do with the reduction in price and this reduction in price it depends on the bill so we looked at that and we actually said that sometimes you are discounted using your percentage. They say we'll give you 5% discount. That's why we call it a rate. Looked at that. And then from there, we actually said that when you, are, when you have been discounted, how much money are you going to pay? Assuming that you, have been, you, are, you are given 5% discount of the actual price. What is this 5%? What is the actual price for the commodity that you are supposed to pay? We looked at those ones. And sometimes we actually said, you can be given discount in successive. We call that one successive discount. So, if for example, you are given discount, you are given another discount, you are given another discount. But these discount, these discounts, they are depending on the, the price, the, uh, the, 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 the amount you will pay. So, that's what we actually looked at last time. But today... We are no longer talking about the discount. We are talking something which is a commission or the brokerage. This uh, we call commission. Actually, the way the commission, it is the same as the, the brokerage. A brokerage commission. Commission is quite different from discount because in a commission. That is the rate you are given 
after you have completed a certain task. So a fraction out of that is what is called a commission. Therefore, we can define commission as a fixed percentage of the deal amount which is paid to a worker after being rewarded for a certain service. That is what is called commission. If you are rewarded because you have done well, that is commission. Commission and salary is different because salary you get at the end of the month. But the commission, you get the commission after you have done a particular type of task, but now it's a part of reward. They are rewarding you. It's sort of a token of appreciation. Thank you. So you are given commission. It's not salary. For example, this commission is being conducted where we are looking at these people who are selling newspapers. Those guys, the newspaper uh, people who just who stand behind, who, they are just standing in these roads. Those guys are the ones that are responsible for commission. Because assuming one has carried 300 newspapers, so they are told, so you are going to be paid based on what you have earned. So the, if the more the newspaper you are going to sell, the more the commission. For example, uh, they are given percentage. They are given percentage. For example, they are saying they are, they are saying Malawi Publication Limited, the National Publication Limited. Assuming this is the nation paper, the nation publication. Aha. Uh -huh, um, Cation Limited. Assuming the Nation Publication Limited, you know, it's, their role is to make papers, manufacturing newspapers for people to read. They are, they are part of, they want awareness. So assuming that uh, no, they, have, they, have, they have manufactured paper, uh, newspapers and uh, you have gone there, to work. They will ask you, our work here, it depends on the paper, the newspaper you are going to, to do at a particular, and we will give them daily. So, assume you are given 200 papers, newspapers. And these 200 newspapers, each newspaper, if you are to sell it, you are selling it at 2,000 kwash. Assuming that one newspaper is 2,000 watch. Right? And then the company will tell you that will give you uh, generally, I don't think that it, yeah, this is 5%. Will give you 5%. Will give you 5% uh, on for, for the papers you are going to sell. For the papers sold. And this is what is called, this is what is called brokerage, or it's called uh, commission. So, I don't think that those guys, they can, they can, they can sell all the 200 newspapers per day. It depends on how, the moment it is, and the newspapers are sold, they are, they, they, they are people who will, will buy from money. The moment is 12 o'clock. Rare to find someone buying the paper. From 12. I know this is better because these people now will start thinking of budgeting for Matemba and whatsoever 12 o'clock. So I think people will say, I know I think we'll not buy newspaper. So news, newspapers mostly they are they are sold from from 6 o'clock to nine within that time. So with someone carrying two hundred papers, he might, for example, can either, either can assuming that he, he has sold about sixty newspapers. So he has sold sixty. So if he has he has sold sixty papers, so he has sold sixty papers are sold. And these 60 papers, when you multiply by 200, it is 2,000 uh, 2, times 6 it. 
and if these are kwacha. So we multiply this one is what? Zero, 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 zero. Twenty what? Twenty-four. Two hundred and forty thousand kwacha. So he, he has this guy two hundred and forty thousand kwacha in the pocket. Because he has sold sixty papers. How many papers? How many papers remaining? One what? One forty. So one forty papers are remaining. One forty papers are remaining. And these papers are, is, is this guy is going to take them back to the to the company, right? Because he has sold uh, only sixty papers. Sixty papers are the one that's and that is the money two hundred and forty thousand. But the company will say. For every newspaper that you are buying, we'll give you commission 5%. No 5%. So each paper 5%. Now, in other words, one paper, it is 5% of 2,000. Right? So what is the 5%? 5 over 100, right? Times 2,000. Right? Watch. So this is 100, watch, right? Right? So each paper, newspaper is going to receive 100 watch. 100 watch. Now this guy has sold 60 papers, right? It means 60 times what? 100. So multiply by 60. So this one is what? 6 what? 6,000 watch for this day. So this guy is, is, he will, he will, is going to, be, to receive 6,000 watch. Now, if he is receiving two six thousand kwacha, how much money is he going to give to the company? Minus here six thousand, right? So when you must subtract six thousand here, you are getting what? Twenty-three thousand. Oh, not twenty. What? Where? Which one? Oh, this one, eh? It is the one, what? 120,000. So 120,000 minus 6,000. 100. 140. Eh? <laughs> Okay, hundred and fourteen thousand. So this guy will take hundred and fourteen thousand eh, and give it to the company. So he's taking hundred and forty. Wah, 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 wah. So the company will take hundred and fourteen thousand. So the amount of money he's going to buy Utaka and whatsoever is what six thousand. Watch. See, commission generally is just very small and. It, if a company gives a commission of 5%, at least the data, some of the companies, they give you 2%. So if it, if it is 2%, it's going to be 2 times what? 2% is going to be 2 times 2% uh -huh, of, of that. Get that. So that is the commission. So the commission is going to get this guy is 6,000. So we are only we are interested with this commission here. That's the commission. Always the commission in the is in percentage. Let's go uh, let's read what is happening there. Oh, or let's read. Commission or the brokerage is a fix is the fixed percentage of a deal about which is paid to a worker as a reward of his service. It is based on the value of the goods sold and bought. And the percentage involved in brokerage is called commission. So the commission is in percentage. You are given 5% commission, 2% commission. And again, if you, these guys who sell units, it's again the same. I don't know whether those people are given commission. I don't know. Commission, those who are selling units, Right? An example is that the property dealer sold a shop. Let's look what, let's put in that context under Malawi watch. A property dealer 
So the shop at uh, if you say a shop nowadays is how much can you sell a shop? The well of belt is shop, not the uh, 10 million. <laughs> 10 million, eh? Shop. For selling a shop. Give me a dollar. Shop. 10 million. Alright. Let's put a shop 20 million. Shop. Let's uh, a, someone is someone is selling a shop at 20 million. But now when when who there are people who there are people who are involved in selling shops and these are called my agents you know that right good so this guy is selling a shop at 20 million watch 20 million 20 meter right good this is a shop shop value is this 20 million The Bible, let's put it. Let's be frank with this guy who is that on it. Because if we three percent with let's give him five percent, right? Let's give him five percent. Ah uh, yeah. But and even these lawyers, you know, lawyers when lawyers when they win cases, they are given commission. I don't think they are given salary. You if you have got a case, they will tell you any case. That uh, nowadays they have uh, gone up. C cases, lawyers, you know, lawyers they eat well. <laughs> <laughs> lawyers. And I wish the fair. A lawyer, a lawyer, for a lawyer to starve, a lawyer, ah, uh, lawyers are, uh, they are eating a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's why I'm encouraging you that when you finish your degree, Right? After four years, you have finished your degree. You have got you have a degree. Right? Apply for law. When you apply for law, you are going to go again there for another four years. But if you apply law now, assuming that now you, you, are, you are applying for law, you are going to stay there for six, six years. But if you have got a degree, already a degree, the moment you have got a degree and you want to apply a law, you go into first year. And then you go there. No, you, you go for the second year, but now you stay there for three years because law generally is six years. So you, you'll be exempted the first year and the second year. So you go to third year, fourth, fifth, fifth and sixth. Four years law. But if you want to join now, it will be six years. <laughs> so lo lawyers, lawyers are given commission for any case they will win. If a, they win a case, they will get commission. They, nowadays it's about... 20%. They get a lot because they will strive. That's why, even assuming that one has killed a person, they will try to win the case. What do they want to see? The moment they win the case, a lot of money is with them, right? They win a case because cases is to do with the justification or, or yeah, you call it justification or you have to give evidence. It's an evidence based, right? To show that he. So that those are lawyers. Now, this one guy is given me five percent when he sells, and this is actually is real. What agents are doing, they get a commission. And now this guy is given a commission of five percent. So five percent of that. So wanted to find 
What, how much is this agent, how much will he receive? So it is five, he is giving 5% commission. Right? 5% commission. And then, and then, the 5% commission, and then, is 5% of the 20, 20 million, right? Yeah, so I say 5%, 5 over 100 times 20 what? 20 million. 20 million. All right, now, you are going to have this. Like that. One, two, three, four. Ah, sorry. Hello, sir. Ah, I'm young one. I'm out. Hey, hey. Yeah, I do, Jane, the Ajim and the Achalich. Eh, yeah, it's a church. It's affiliated to Baha'i faith. Ah, church is it? I think it's the Chaku, Jacomano, Zandifra, who was a Kumano, Mina, Kamana, Mina, and the Ajaka, we have a touch. I believe you in a Baha'i situation, in a color. Kapena, um, I think, yeah, it's something which is uh, outside the country. But I think uh, if they will answer the owner, they will be much better. Okay, Jabu. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, shall we? And that was All right. Sorry, it was very important to call from. Let me just switch my phone off. All right. Let's proceed. Right now. So when we, what when, when what we are saying is that uh, when you have got uh, uh, this, we wanted to find out what will be the amount of money that this guy who is an agent will receive. Now, if you look at this one, it's going to be like twenty one two three four one two three four, right? Multiply by five. So ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, 20,000? Oh, okay, one million. All right. So, this guy, as commission, is given one million. So, he's taking 19 million and he's giving the 19 million to the what? To the owner. So, you take this amount, this is your money. Sometimes, so, you know, there are other owners, when they see the whole 20 million, I don't think that they can, they can take away 1 million. Hmm? That's why, when money comes, they go direct to the, an agent. Because an agent is the one who just, he takes his, what? I have taken my money. That's why even lawyers, assuming you, a lawyer has a, one a case. If a lawyer has one a case, what will happen is the lawyer will get the what? That money, the whole money. The, whole, the cash, I mean the check goes to the lawyer. The, the whole check, whether it is 100 million or whether it is 1 trillion, it, the check goes directly to the what? To the lawyer. And the lawyer is the one who will give you the money. That this, this is your what? Your man, we have taken our what? Man. The problem, the, the, I think 
it's, it, it solves the problem of uh, the other people who are, they are, what do we call, they are what? The other people who are, they are very careless. When you get money, you don't want to pay back. Right? Yeah, the moment you take, the moment it, is, it, has, it has entered into your pocket, it has gone. That's why there, there is this issue that you have to take one million, and that one million, it has to be taken to the what? As a commission. All right. Let's look at uh, another element here. The, another element we are looking at here is, is the profit and loss. Is the profit and loss. Profit and loss. All right. Profit and loss is another area that we have to think of. Profit and loss is another area that we have to think of. Profit and loss. Again, we we'll look at profit and loss. Before we come to profit and loss, do you have do you have questions? Do you have questions about about commission? Commission. Let's go to profit and loss. The positive difference of selling and Purchasing price of an item is known as a profit. And the negative side of it is called the loss. We are saying the profit is actually the positive difference between the selling and then the purchasing. I will not use this sometimes these words, the selling and the purchasing, but I'll be using about the cost price and the selling price. All right? In other words, the selling price there, according to what they are saying here, the selling price is the selling price they are talking about. The positive is the difference between the selling price and the purchasing price. So the selling price is the selling price. But the purchasing price is what is called the cost what? Price. You have to get these two terms. You have to think of them very critical because sometimes I don't want you to confuse. The selling price is the selling price. The purchasing price is the cost what? Price. All right. Let me just give you, uh, in other words, profit, talk about profit, is equal to, if the selling price is greater than the cost price, you get profit. In other words, the selling price minus cost price, when it is greater than zero, this is selling price minus cost price. When the answer here is greater than zero, then this is what? Profit. While loss is equal to Cost price minus selling what? Selling price 
But when the cost price minus selling price, when this two is greater than zero, it is a loss. When this is not as greater, when this is less than, right? This is less than what? Zero. This is what? Loss. Let me maybe explain because sometimes with this problem, these are what are called they are the languages or the jargons. Well, let me just uh, run away from these uh, languages. Let me just talk something here that you should be able to understand. Assuming you are you have you are you have a pair of shoes, right? You have a pair of shoes. And this pair of shoes, you bought it at 20,000 kwacha. You bought this pair of shoes at 20,000 kwacha. This is your cost what? Price. So this is the cost what? Price. If you sell the same shoes at 22,000 kwacha to someone, right? This is your selling what? price when the selling price if you take 22000 kwacha right minus the cost price which is the 20000 kwacha what you are getting in there is money which is more than zero all right because what 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 you are getting there it is what 2000 kwacha right and this is 2000 kwacha is your what? Profit. The 2000 kwacha is your profit. What we are saying is, when you have, you bought your shoes at 20,000. And you are thinking to sell the shoes. Ah, dad, these shoes are boring. And you say, okay, what do you do then? I will sell them to my friend of mine. And a friend of yours is looking at those shoes as uh, nice. And you sell that pair of shoes to him. Then the amount when you subtract 22,000 minus 20, so the selling price minus the cost price, then you get the profit. Always, always cost price, whichever country you be on earth. Cost price is 100%. 100%. So always this cost price, the moment I buy, the moment I buy, the moment I buy an I article, that is 100%. It means I have 100% in my hand. If I am to sell more than that, it means I am adding another percentage on top of my 100%. Create. Like the 2,000 kwacha here, it means you need to find the percentage of the 2,000 kwacha and you have to add it on top of the 100,000. It means what you have is more than 100, 100%. Alright? But the actual percentage, it is 100 what? Percent. Let me go to loss. Let me take the very same scenario where someone has bought a pair of shoes at 20,000. And now, just because uh, he, ha he has used the shoes for a week, and he says, uh, someone can't buy at the very same price, let me reduce the price. Now he's reducing the price. So he bought the shoes at 20,000 as the cost price, and he's selling the shoes at 15,000. Says, ah, let me sell this at 15,000. I want my money back. 15,000. He's selling 15,000 a watch. The 15,000 a is the selling price, right? This is the selling what? Price. But 20,000 is the cost price. So when you take cost price, which is what? 20,000 minus. The selling price, which is what? 15,000 watch. When you subtract this two, what you are getting in there is something which is less than zero. And that is what is called a loss. In other words, 
a loss you are sub, you are you are going to the negative side because what is happening here is the loss here is going to be what five thousand watch all right you have lost if you the fact that you have lost you haven't gained that's why it's a negative side you have lost it's as good as uh, in other words the 20 south and the water here it is 100 percent now if 20 south and the is 100 percent do you think 15 south and the can be more than be more than 100 percent it can be less therefore if this was a 20 south and the is 100 percent you have to find the percentage which is given to five percent and you must subtract from 100 percent to five percent you find that what would be the loss percentage you can find the loss percentage out of that i do not know whether this is making sense or i'm preaching the gospels which is out of from your head huh it's making sense all right uh what 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 we are trying to say is this what talk about always whatever you are buying i am i'm instilling this knowledge to you because i don't want you to fail because you know sometimes you can open your own shop and you are failing to calculate what is the profit and what is the loss how much is my profit how much is my loss what is the because you have to calculate percentage now so we have we have looked at this that is a loss so a loss comes a loss will come when the cost price is greater than the selling what price when your cost price is greater than the selling price that is loss but when the cost price is less than the selling price in other words when the selling price is greater than the cost price what comes there is well, what is the profit remove it in loss when the selling price is less than the cost price what comes there is a what loss those are the questions i'll ask you in the exam simple straightforward <laughs> but now for you you can here you can be able to find but now when it comes to that is on the paper and i ask you say true or false when the selling price is greater than the cost price it is a profit say true or false a lot of you know you you can mix, mix up mix up because we are looking at now syntax language language is not our like we are supposed to learn this in Chichewa, right <laughs> all right that's why that's why there was a proposal that even the members of parliament were supposed to be deliberating in Chichewa because those are representing people from the villages can a person in the villages able to understand english Honorable speaker, honorable speaker, it's not like that. You think someone from Muntandi they can be able to <laughs> No, in Tandi there are people who are not, they know English, yeah. Right? I know Tandi no, it's it out. That I understand. Uh, I know. I have withdrawn. I have withdrawn in Tandre, but now we can talk about someone someone who is a who is a, a grandfather has never gone to school but he says that he is oh, right. yeah that's another one. all right so we are looking at these issues of profit and loss now let's proceed let's proceed Let's look at the. How do we calculate percentage now? Profit percentage. Because we have got two. You have to calculate percentage profit or percentage loss. 
We are looking at this percentage profit or percentage loss. How do you calculate percentage profit? Now, that is our, our center of discussion. We want to calculate percentage profit and percentage loss. Right. Another term for percentage a profit. A profit is a profit is another another term is what is called markup. When you see a word which is called markup, it means that is a profit. The opposite is mark what? Down. Down. So aha. I ask you what is a markup in an exam. So when you look at markup, we have a markup. <laughs> And I've got marked down. See? So we have mark up and mark down. All right. Now, let's look at these issues. Let's proceed. We can define profit and loss in terms of percentage. In relative terms, Profit is known as a rate of profit or a markup and expressed as a percentage ratio of profit. Like markup or profit rate is equal to rate R, profit over cost price times 100. In other words, hey, when you are looking at the profit, let's look at that. Let's look at that. I, I don't want to leave someone behind here because it was... I want you to learn. Right? Ah, no, we are not learning because of exams. We are learning for us to know. You see the good side, the, the good side with the this, you know, I you know what I what I would do is there'll be a week, one one week before your midterm, because just we are around about two, three weeks to go for your midterm. Before your midterm, what I would do is I'll give you exercise that you have to I'll just give you paper, I'll just print papers and give you in groups. Let's discuss. Right? Yes. That's what I'll do. Right now, now it's let's look at this issue of percentage profit and percentage loss. I'm I'm saying loss. How do you loss to calculate loss profit profit percent? All right, profit percent is equal to profit over cost what? Price times hundred percent. All right. For example, if the profit was the, the profit was what? Let's take one example. The profit we have, we have calculated profit is was what? Huh? Two thousand. Eh? Yeah. The profit is two thousand, and the cost price twenty thousand. Right? Twenty thousand. Let's find the percentage times what? 100%. Then you do like that, right? This, that, right? Two here, two here. What means what? 10%. 10%. So that is 10%. Loss is the same. Let's look at loss. Loss percent is equal to loss over 100. Huh? Cost what? Price. Cost price times 100%. There was a certain example. Uh, it was loss was what? Huh? 5,000 over cost price. 20,000 times what? 100%. Then 3. Alright? 
This one. This one. Alright? Yes. Two here. One. Two here. Five. Five times five. Twenty-five percent loss. Twenty-five percent loss. In others, let me define what is it when you say ten percent profit. Ten percent profit. What it means that if the actual one, the, the selling price that you sold this item, it is hundred and what? Hundred and ten. Because you are taking hundred percent plus ten what? Percent. So this is hundred and what? Ten percent. Let's go to that one. We'll, when look at the loss is twenty five percent, but the actual one is hundred percent, right? So it is 100% minus 25%. And the actual one? 70 what? 75%. That's what we mean here. That's what we mean. Let's look at an example. Let's look at an example. We'll have to look at two examples and then we'll close the chapter. Right? Uh uh. <laughs> Am I fast in my teaching? Am I fast? The time the, the, during my time when I was teaching in secondary schools, no one had problems in mathematics. And the people would and the students and the students would enjoy, would enjoy that time. Yes. All right. Let's let's look at another example. And this example we will look at simple one, very simple. And then we want to come up with the what is it? What is it? so very, very simple. Very simple. And this is an example from what they are talking about. Let's look at this example. And the example is this. Sorry that maybe it will take me time to know each one of you, but I think I will be able to know you. Um, I will be able to just a mo a mo a mo one minute. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. Uh -huh. Yes. Bachelor of Account. Cody, yeah, I'm also return this. But I'm a Bachelor of Accountants. I'm a Bachelor of Science in Accountants. I'm a Bachelor of Accountants. Okay, okay, yes. It's just Accountants, I see. Okay. All right. Yeah, that one, that one is by of accountancy. That was a one. In the Okay. Okay. All right. Now, let's look at this example. And this example is a, a straightforward example. A man bought a second hand scooter. You know what a scooter? What is a scooter? What is a scooter? A scooter and can you get a No, a scooter, a scooter, a scooter is they are, they are motorbikes, but they are, they are for ladies. He assume, assume that you are, you are, you are coming, if you, you are from Netherlands or you are from Germany. I'm just assuming that I'm turning your skin to be white now. <laughs> 
Huh? I am I am assuming that you, your body is no longer black, but it is brown. Tu now, what we are saying that this man bought a second-hand scooter for 1.5. Uh, let's look at what. Let's take about. Let's say he bought a, a scooter can be bought at two million, right? Yeah. Let's say this man bought a scooter at two million, and he sold it at 2.5 million, right? Let's calculate the, the profit, whether it is a profit or loss. Let's find out whether it is a profit or loss he made for selling this second-hand scooter. Let's look at that. Do you think if, if, if this guy bought a scooter at a 2 million and is selling the scooter at 2.5, is that a profit or a loss? Profit. Huh? Profit. Those are the questions I will ask you in the exam. <laughs> Huh? All right. Then, then you, you are answering, and then you complain that mathematics is difficult. But you are able to say profit. But to all of you. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Right now, the way you do it. Uh, it's as the way we have been doing it. I don't think that we can you can find what is the, the profit there, right? You can find the profit. Because if he, this guy bought the scooter at uh, 2 million and is selling the scooter at 2.5 the profit is what? 500. You can calculate a profit percent there, right? Yeah. I will not do it. It's done. Let's go to the second example. Right? Yeah, let's go to the second example. The second example is this one. There's a person who bought a TV set. You know what a TV set? A TV, eh? All right. So this guy bought a TV set at 20,000. Can you buy a TV set at 20,000? How much is a TV set? <laughs> Nowadays, what's the price of a TV? One million. Are the pictures people? <laughs> Up to one million. <laughs> Two. What, what type of TV? Samsung. Uh, uh, LG. When you see a picture, it's more or less like a person. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, someone is eating. Someone is eating gaiwa with the bonongwe. Another one is eating gaiwa with the meat. Is there any difference? Yeah. What's the difference? The difference is the one is eating meat is getting. Well, the one is getting uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Uh, uh, all right, okay, all right. Or oh, someone will become fat and someone will become small. Very good. Very good. But now, this guy, this guy uh, bought TV set at, uh, let's put it, uh, 500,000, 500, which means that's a plasma, right? You like plasma, right? Eh? All right. So, as this guy is has bought a TV at 
500,000 in, in game in game shops 500,000 kwacha game shops went to there with the madam and the madam and the children and children all right they were hot right and he got this tv you were there and his daddy daddy is buying a tv at 500,000 and he became happy because the first tv got broke <laughs> Right, broken, and then he's selling. The father is now broke, and the father, when the father is broke, he's selling the TV at a profit of 25 percent. How much money is he going to receive? Assuming that now he's selling the TV, TV at a profit of profit of what 25 percent. How much is he getting? How much? How much will the father get after selling that TV at that amount? We wanted to find out how much money is the father going to get there, and not find out what will be the the selling price. What will be the selling price? What will be the selling price? What will be the profit? Let's look at but uh, this is the cost price, right? All right. Cost price is equal to 500,000, right? 500,000 watch. Profit 25 what? 25 percent. Now we need to find 25 percent of this one, right? Is that so? Let's find it. That's why I, uh, I was telling you to bring in calculators. Simple 25. Over 100 times 500,000. Right? Right? You do and that. Right? So you are multiplying this times this one. Right? So we have got it three zeros. Eh? One, two, three. These are the zeros. Right? And if 25 times 5. 25 times 5 was what? 100 and what? Aha! 125,000. Is that? Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. 125,000. Now, the 125,000 is the profit, right? Profit. 125,000 is the profit. And then this profit, what was the selling price? The selling price is equal to how much money did this guy sell? So he's taking. 500 500,000 plus 120 what? 5,000. And this gives you 600,000 600,000 600,000 huh? 600,000 Okay. <laughs> hey, it's, not, it's, not, it's not our language. You know mathematics is a language, eh? Yeah. The way we fail to, to, to speak is the same. It's not our language. It's better we learn this in Jijewa. Because Jijewa is my language. Like, like, you see, like this issue here, saying, if you want to go to university, you have to pass mathematics and, and English. Why English? Are we, are we, are, are we European? They were supposed to say, oh, why mathematics? They were just supposed to just yes, pass, right? Yeah. Chichewa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why English? Ask, why English? What is so special with English? And again, when you go to other countries, they, you, they, you go for examination for, they call TOF, TOFIL? For you to write an entrance for another university out there, you write an exam for English. To them, you go to China, you find them all they are speaking their Chinese language, right? Mm. And they are proud of that one, right? Mm. Is English our language? No. Why can't we be proud of our language? All right, good. <laughs> Let's proceed. Now, when you look at this one, 625,000. At least I have now mentioned well, right? Yes. Uh, not the uh, 600. Eh? Uh, 6,000. 6,000. Eh? 25,000. Ah. 
the teacher again, the teacher, the teacher. The, the, this, the teacher was right. Now, this is the selling price. The amount that is sold, this is the 625,000. Right? The profit there was 125. Let's calculate what was the profit per percent. What was the percentage profit? Let's find the percentage profit. Let's find the percentage profit. What is the profit? Ah, percentage profit. We